Hey guys, welcome to Casey Crawls. Yep, we're in the shop again, and I got old Sarge, and we've got an issue that we're gonna look at. Do you own a Jeep Wrangler JL Rubicon? If you do, you may be having this same issue. In fact, if you search the forums, there are literally hundreds of people that have this same problem. What is it? Well, keep watching, and I'll show you what kind of issue it is, and how to fix it. As before we get into the fix it portion of this video, um, let me ask a favor of you. Uh, we just went over 600 subscribers at Casey Crawls. Huge milestone. I want to keep going. I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like the, the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, it'll, it'll certainly go a long way. And uh, our next goal is a thousand. Uh, so we'll keep on rolling. I appreciate you watching and uh, subscribe. All you got to do is click the subscribe button. It's super easy. So what is the problem I'm talking about? I'm talking about the locker position sensor. Mine failed. And if you've had your gears, your axles re-geared, uh, yours may have failed too. Like I said, there are literally hundreds of people if you look at the forums uh, that have issues with this, uh, this sensor. My particular sensor is in the rear axle. Um, how it fails, I have no idea. It's been such an issue that a company, Z Automotive, I'm not sponsored at all, they just have pretty good products, um, they saw a need and they came out with a fix. And so, it's the same company that makes the, the Taser. I've got that Taser light in my Jeep Z Automotive. Um, they make a little wiring harness. That's all it is right there, that wiring harness. And so what does it do? It sends the signal that your ECM is looking for uh, from that, uh, that sensor, and it, and it uh, allows you um, to use your locker. Uh, so the locker mechanically works fine. Uh, there's no issue with that. It's that sensor that's in there that tells the Jeep whether the um, differential is locked or unlocked. I don't know what goes wrong with it. I've heard it gets oil in it and I guess it shorts out. I don't know. Um, but this is a pretty, looks like a pretty simple fix. What they were doing um, a couple of years ago, mine's a 21 model, uh, was replacing the whole axle that was having that problem. Why? Because you couldn't get the sensor um, and they were having, I guess it was supply chain issues from COVID. Everything's uh, related to COVID. Um, but they couldn't get the, the, the sensors um, so they would just replace the whole axle assembly, which is crazy to me, but you know, good on FCA for doing that if you're under warranty. Um, Z Automotive saw that this was a very common occurrence and they came out with this little fix. How much is that? I paid $191 for that. And that seems pricey, but let me tell you, I'd rather use this than have to break into my axle again. And yeah, it's, it's messy, time consuming. I, I really don't want to mess with that. This seemed like the better, uh, the better uh, uh, solution. So this is what I'm going to use. How does it work? Well, I'll show you. We're going to go ahead and plug this in and see if this fixes up my problem. All right, guys, here's what we got. It's this is the plug uh, that we're going to um, tap into with our little fix it wazoo gadget from Z Automotive. And I was messing with it a minute ago and a little white clip, I broke that stupid thing off. So hopefully it's, yeah, it just pops off. But look, I don't know if you can see that. Look at all that oil. I'm fairly certain that thing's not supposed to have a bunch of oil on it. But it does. That's probably the issue. So, it's super easy. This is going to plug in 
to here. And this is going to plug back into the axle. And then that's it. I'm going to see if this works. If it works, then we'll zippy, zippy strip this somewhere. Okay, so if that worked, that would probably be about the easiest fix that I've ever done. So let's check it out. Okay. I thought my keys were in the Jeep. They're not. I need keys. Keys. Okay. And here we go. Oh. I'm going to spin you around so you can see the dash. Let's see. Come on, focus camera. Service. Huh. So that didn't do the trick. It's weird. I don't know. Back to the drawing board. Okay, so after a little troubleshooting, I figured out what I did wrong. I'll tell you what I did wrong. I didn't push the clippy thing, the plug in all the way. So I pushed it in all the way this time and it works. So <sighs> let's see. I'll show you. Now watch it not work. Uh, I'll flip you around. No more error. No more. That's cool. No more blinking. It was uh, this this light here was blinking, indicating the the rear locker sensor was messed up. But not anymore. We're good. So guys, that was probably the easiest fix that we've tackled so far. Um, the Z, Z Automotive, they, they came through again. So if you're having the locker position sensor fault, like, again, literally hundreds of people are, according to forums, um, I would recommend uh, going out on the interwebs and finding that Z Automotive um, little pigtail harness thing. Again, 191 bucks is a little pricey, but... I didn't have to get into the axle. I didn't have to pull the gears out, any of that stuff. I don't know if you have to do that change, that sensor or not. I, I think you do. Um, I didn't have to do any of that. So I'll do a follow-up video to let you know um, how this thing works over time. But the error is gone. I'll be taking the Jeep to work this week and I'll see if, uh, if that thing pops back up. In the meantime, if you happen to have it, now you know, hopefully, uh, how to do a, a pretty quick fix. Pretty easy, straightforward. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe FCA, that's Fiat Chrysler Automotive, who makes the Jeep. Maybe those guys will come out with uh, a reasonable uh, solution for this thing. Um, other than that, I appreciate you watching. Um, I would really appreciate a like or a subscribe. Uh, we just went over 600 subscribers, so big milestone. 
Um, we got 400 more to get to a thousand. That's kind of been my goal since I've been doing this stuff. So at any rate, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps and I'll see you back on the trail this time with both lockers working. <laughs>